Hi, uh, here first of all I'm making trays for the shelf. Uh, total four they are going to be. Two will be the large and two will be the medium size. So this one is the biggest one. 67 centimeter is the length. And here I'm drawing a shape of oval. You can do even uh, round or even square. And this is the second one which is 50 centimeter length. Two are the same size of 50 centimeter and two will be the same 67 centimeter length. The length and the width can be according to your wish. If you want to make it a little bit longer or smaller, you can do. Here, you can see I cut it just three now, but uh, the fourth piece I will cut it later. And here, for the each piece, you have to cut the same sizes of cardboard again to stick and to make it thick enough. A big thick shelf for each layer. Here, you need to stick. I'm sticking only two now, but uh, you need to make it a very thick piece so it will hold the weight on it and here these are going to be the legs 70 centimeter is the length and 42 centimeter is going to be the weight I will make a wet fabric over it to make it easily fold and now I will stick uh, the cardboard with the glue you can use the hot glue but mostly it's better for the cardboard furniture if you use the white glue that's much better and stronger and then you need to roll it to make a leg and then stick it in last with paper tape to close it Here you can see I have prepared the trays and they are very thick. For each piece, maybe 10 to 12 pieces of cardboard you need to stick. And here I am putting the small shelf over the big shelf to measure where I will stick the pipes or the legs. On this point, I will mark it so you can see it clearly. And then on this point, you need to just cut a curve from the sides. And remember, if the each shelf is not thick enough, the cardboard legs will not go inside properly and it will not hold the weight of the shelf. So make sure you make the cardboard shelves or these trays, oval ones, thick enough. And here now I will use the white glue where I will stick these um, legs. Now take some tissues and white glue and insert these tissues with glue between the leg and the shelf. If there is any space, even if there is no space, you can fill or you can stick the uh, tissues with the glue with the shelf so it will be sturdy more and it will keep the legs on the place. And for more uh, sturdy shelf, you can cut some pieces of cardboard like this with the shape of the leg and stick it with glue around the leg so it will hold the leg with the shelf properly. Okay, here instead of going in details with measurement, which I don't like at all, I will use this size of bottle 
and I will place on place these uh, second small shelves over this bottle to have equal uh, size where I want to place the second part of the shelf here you can see I hope you understand secondly I will use this uh, black tape sticky one and I will uh, place it around the shelf and the legs also for more sturdy and for more uh, to keep them on the place And again with glue and tissues again th again same thing I will do with the each shell to make it more strong enough and here you can see I place two rest of the shelves as well and now is the turn for the third one which is also the long one same upper size here you can see and cut the holes also measure it like this and cut the holes and stick it with the legs as well There is the look how it looks after using the four shelves and now for the sides I will take 10 cm wide uh, cardboard piece and I will stick it around the each shelf like this and make sure this uh, pieces as well uh, thick enough so you can place two or three uh, cardboard pieces uh, uh, around the sides so it will be much more strong instead of one pink single piece and here you can see I made all three shelves with the 10 cm wide uh, length of cardboard but the lower one I made it uh, 5 cm here you can see the upper ones are bigger and the lower one is uh, half of that and here I will use again my homemade paste glue with uh, some newspapers and stick it around the shelf all over the pieces here and let them dry completely after it's dry I will use uh, all these colors which you will see now all are acrylic paints I'm taking some light uh, golden color acrylic and I will cover the shelf trays with this color And here I have light brown bricks color acrylic paint which I will just tap on the golden paint and I am using this color while the golden is wet so blend them together I don't need the brown color I just need some roughly golden here you can see the shade so mix them blend them together while they are wet and here on the legs I will use the same brown color and if you feel the brown color on the shelves became more dark you can uh, use the golden again on top of that and blend them together and for the sides uh, which you see these white pieces here I will use the white acrylic paint and 
and the same thing you will do on the inner sides also white color and now rest all of the designs you will see it's very easy to understand uh, here I'm using black acrylic and golden acrylic paints to draw some lines like this some stripes black and golden uh, it doesn't matter if they are not straight because of course this is handmade it's not by machine or some by some professional persons or you can use some scale first to draw lines but for me it's fine even uh, without any those tools anyway here do it as you're doing on the sides on the outsides you will need to do on the same print inner shelf as well on the white parts inside as well here you can see I done it and here I am taking some uh, pink uh, acrylic paint just for some designs on the shelf here on the legs here and if you don't want you can skip this step or leave the legs plain and here it's just a little bit dark golden acrylic paint which I will stick around which I will paste or which I will draw sorry uh, beside the black uh, blocks or rectangles whatever it is okay the rest I will do after first I will uh, do the flowers here you see this is a shaving brush sorry but I love the texture or the print or the stroke it gives so here you will see like this I love this design so I am keeping this brush for my use for paintings and those things here you need to draw all these same designs on the each shelf then you can make any style of flowers you need here I'm using red and green color red I will use in the center of these uh, flowers and the green for the leaves Okay, I'm using here golden acrylic paint again on the sides of the shelf just to define them properly and then once you're done all colors are dry you need to spray it if you like if you doesn't like you can skip the step here I will skewer the colors and to give them some gloss I'm using some transparent spray and here is the final look now of the shelf you can use it as a guest display shelf for the guests to display tea coffee anything or you can use it for your stuff in your room beside the bed and i hope you like the video please give me thumbs up share my videos subscribe to channel uh, and i'm bringing many more new ideas very soon so keep watching thanks bye